The next thing that we're gonna make on Roland here is we're gonna work on his body. Now it's an inner body here. You can just see it a little bit and it's striped. So that's the piece that we're gonna make next that this outer shell will go on top of. So you're, for this one, you're gonna need both your light gray and your dark gray yarns, continuing on using your e-hook and a stitch marker, okay? All right, so to start the body with light gray, we're gonna go ahead and do six single crochets in a magic ring. Again, make your backwards L, wrapping it around from the back there. There's one, two, and three. Hold it with your thumb, going under those last two loops, up and over that first loop, and pulling that first loop forward. Make your A, pinch the side to get your middle finger out. Let go of the, the working tail here, but holding on to that circle still. Yarn over from the back, pinch it here to hold it, and then pull through so that you've gotten it set for you. Now you've got your two loops and your tail, okay? Give yourself a little slack here with your working yarn. We're gonna go ahead and do six single crochets into this center here of the ring. One, two, three, four, five, and six, okay? We've done our six single crochets. Now we're gonna to start to pull our tail and that will tell us which of the two loops we need to pull first. So it's this back one here. So I'm gonna pull it tight and that's gonna close our circle. Now take your tail and pull that tight, okay? Perfect. Now put your stitch marker on. You've just finished round one. Okay, still continuing on with the light gray color. We're not switching yet. We're gonna go ahead and start with one single crochet. So let's go ahead and grab that first stitch here, making sure you go through both sides of the V. I'm just gonna lay this tail across and work around it. You're gonna do one single crochet first. Okay, next after that, we're doing an increase. So let's go ahead and do two single crochets in the next stitch. So here's one and there's two. Then we're doing two single crochets. I'm gonna tuck that tail back now. Go ahead and do, here's one single crochet in the next, and then another single crochet in the next. Okay, there's two single crochets. Another increase, so that's two single crochets in the next. Two increase, all right. And then finish off this round by doing one more single crochet. Okay, and just to explain what we did, we did increases on either side and single crochets on the end, on the edges, right? That's creating an oval shape. So just to explain how the how the thought process is behind pattern creating, if you're ever interested in making your own patterns, we increased on the ends to create that buildup and then we kept the same single crochets so that we didn't add on any extra width. Right, that created that oval shape. We need to switch to the dark gray yarn, okay? So what I actually like to do is I like to do it in the last stitch of the prior round, okay? So you just pull out that last bit. You're gonna keep those last two loops here from your single crochet. And as you're finishing that single crochet, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your dark gray, leaving a tail, Put it over your hook like that and just pull that through to finish off the round all right now find your working yarn you're now starting the next round so you're going to put your stitch marker now on the dark gray so you can do with jogging where it looks like there's a step up and what in order to do that you would just crochet around as it says on the pattern. If you wanna do one called without jogging, then I'm gonna show you how you do that. For the next round, round three, we're gonna go ahead and single crochet around, okay? If you ha wanna have jogging, you'll do a single crochet as usual in the next stitch. If you wanna have no jogging and make it so it doesn't look quite as staircase -y looking, you're gonna slip stitch the first stitch, okay? And then you're gonna go ahead and single crochet around as usual. And I get, I'm just working over the tail there. You don't have to, but that's what I like to do to secure it. Okay, I'm tucking it back now, and I'm just gonna go ahead and finish doing single crochets around 
with my dark gray. And I do have videos as well on my channel that talk to you more about jogging versus not versus without jogging. But I'm just going to try to explain it quickly here. All right, so we've finished the first round. We've done a single crochet around. We're going to move our stitch marker. All right, so for the next round, we've already we did a slip stitch here. We're just going to go ahead and finish do the next round as you would normally. So, we're starting off round 4 with two single crochets. So you're just going to do two single crochets as usual. And I just want to show you that what that slip stitch did was it didn't build it up high. It allows the circle to connect without having a break in the circle. So just continuing on as normal, we did two single crochets. We're going to go ahead and do another increase. So that's two single crochets in the next stitch. Three more single crochets, so one, move to the next, there's two, move to the next, and there's three, all right, and then we're going to do another increase, so that's two single crochets in the next, and finally we're going to do a single crochet, but we're going to switch colors back to the light color, we're doing a striped look. So we're going to go in, like we'll do our single crochet, pull forward a loop. Now we've got two loops on the hook. You're going to drop your working yarn. You're going to pick up, at this point I think it's easier just to cut away the tails from the original one so that the only ones that you have are the ones you're working with. Okay, so let's just go ahead and cut those away. That way they're out of the way. Okay, now you just have the two working ones. All right, so you're switching back to the light gray. That's why I never had you cut it off so that you could pick it up again. If you did cut it off, you can go ahead and just do another tail like you had before. All right, and pull through, dropping your dark gray. That one will will pick up again later. Move your stitch marker. Okay, so for round five with light gray, we're doing single crochet around again. So we don't have the jogging. We're gonna slip stitch the first one. So there's one. And then we'll single crochet around. Okay, move your stitch marker. Now we're gonna do three single crochets. So into that slip stitch, we're just doing a single crochet. There's one. Okay, going into the next. There's two. And into the next, there's three. Now do an increase, two in the next one one and two in that same one and then we're going to go ahead and do four single crochets so one two three four do another increase so two single crochets in the next and then we're going to do a single crochet switching to dark gray in that last stitch here so going ahead and doing the two loops on the hook drop your light pick up your dark and finish that that last stitch there move your stitch marker with the dark gray we're going to go ahead in round seven we're going to do single crochet around starting with a slip stitch in the first and then go ahead and single crochet around Okay, so we've finished round seven. Round eight, we're gonna do four single crochets. So into that first slip stitch, we'll do a single crochet. And the next, we do another. There's two, three, and four. Now do your increase. Now we're gonna go ahead and do five single crochets. There's one two, three, four, and five. Now do an increase, two in the next one there, and then single crochet, switching back to the light gray. So now we drop the dark gray, pick up the light gray, and finish that last single crochet there with the light gray. Move your stitch marker Now with the light gray, this is the final round. With the light gray, we're gonna go ahead and just single crochet around. 
So just do your slip stitch for the first one and then single crochets around. Okay, go ahead and slip stitch to connect. All right, and as you see, we did our color changes and the, when you don't have jogging, then it looks like that circle just connects. When you have jogging, it doesn't look like it connects. It looks like there's a solid break in the line where you've connected. But as you can see here, it's a lot more invisible than if we had done it with jogging, okay? Again, I do have videos that explain those a little bit more and show you what the ones with jogging look like if you're not familiar. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and leave a tail. I'm gonna need to leave this light gray here. I'm gonna cut off the dark gray though. So with the light gray, I'm gonna make the loop, pull the strand that's left over through the loop and then pull tight. That's finishing it off. With the dark gray, I do like to tie it off on the inside and that's because we just let it go. We didn't actually really fasten it in at all. So I'm gonna pull it so that it's nice and tight, but not too tight. You don't ever wanna pull something so that you make it actually bunch. You need to just be conscientious of that. All right, and then I'm just tying it off here. Now I can cut it away. Nobody will see the knots on the inside. And there's his little body. Okay, the underside of the body, rather. All right, there we go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thanks, guys.